do we have our hands full today, guys? We're here with the 1976 F600 doing our disaster detail. We got Dip and Diesel behind the camera. Shout out to him to give me a hand. We got Mike here giving me a hand too. We got shovels, dump trucks, and trash cans that we are gonna <laughs> we got a dump truck that we gotta clean up and put it in the trash can. But the whole thing needs to be taken by a dump truck, really. So check out the interior first off foremost. Check out that headliner, the rat crap, and just all the stuff on the floor. This thing is just a disaster, boys. We just got this caked on dirt and grime, every square inch of it. We're gonna have to mask up on this one, glove up, an extra tarp. The headliner is just beyond gone. It's really, really bad shape. These seats hopefully clean up pretty good, but hopefully we, look, we got a little spider. We're gonna deal with a lot of wildlife today. Spiders and just bugs and roaches. I seen a roach earlier and it just, roaches freak me out, boys. But there's also a, if I can not get attacked by something in the process, that might make it pretty cool. Maybe you guys will drop a like, but check out the toolbox back here. We got some old triangle kit, looks empty. And just all this has got to be swept out, blown out, brushed out, something. Something's got to be done to this interior. But it is in really, really bad shape, guys. We're going to be at this thing for a while. You guys are going to be on a time lapse. The dump bed. Check this thing out. Oh, my gosh. How heavy is that thing, Mike? Pretty heavy. <laughs> Pretty heavy. Oh, my God, guys. There's probably something living in there, pretty sure. But it's probably just a straight six inches of crap in this dump truck that we gotta clean out and throw away. It's gonna be a big one, boys. It's gonna probably take us a few hours, but we'll all knock something out. We'll get on the pressure washer, start pressure washing the exterior. Engine bay's gotta be done. We've already got some purple power. We weren't messing around today. We went ahead and got five gallons of purple power we already filled the sprayer up and we've been spraying down the engine bay earlier and just letting it sit and soak we're going to spray it more before we pressure wash I'm trying to get this thing cleaned up we also bought some parts today to see if we can get this thing started because it won't start we couldn't get it started when we picked it up in the last video so we bought some coils some spark plug wires and some pl a plug wire set and a couple other things to try to get this thing running we know it's a spark related issue. We're getting fuel, we're getting air obviously. And we're gonna try to get this thing running in the next video. So make sure you guys are subscribing, smash that like button down below. Stay tuned for the videos on this. Also Mater, flatbed was supposed to be here yesterday but it's definitely gonna be here either later on in this video which I might not release, actually I probably won't release the flat deck for Mater in this video. But make sure you guys are staying tuned for the flat deck and the engine is on its way as well. So there's Mater, boys. Mater's actually getting dropped off for a modification tomorrow. I gotta take the F-250, trailer this thing to Dothan, Alabama, which is the town over next to me. And we're actually getting a modification on Mater tomorrow. So also the concrete guy just left for our shop, our 50 by 40 slab, we're getting poured tomorrow. He just left. Uh, we got the final specifications on the squareness and everything done. So tomorrow, stay tuned for the shop building videos because that thing's hot and ready as well. That thing's moving along. But we're gonna get to work, guys. Shout out to Mike, shout out to Dippin' Diesel. Give me a hand today. Dippin' Diesel, he's got a truck he calls Frank. If you guys wanna check that build out, it's on his channel. So, daily now. oh yeah, his daily driver. He drives it every day now. So if y'all wanna see another old truck get built, check out his channel. With all that said, let's jump right into it and get to work.
guys, we're starting to clean the exterior. It's going good. We purple powered the whole thing, diluted it a little bit. But we are about to tackle the interior next. You guys are going to be on a GoPro, so you'll be able to see all of this. But here, you didn't get to see the driver's side earlier, but it's in just as bad shape as the passenger side, boys. It's in really bad shape. As you could probably imagine after seeing the driver's side or the passenger side, but we do have a fire extinguisher back here, and wouldn't you know it, it's read and charged. That's pretty cool. At least what it looks like. I doubt it works, but it's read and charged. I'm about to take this headliner off first so I'm not rubbing it against my head the whole time. And then we're gonna get right into cleaning this interior, boys. Let's get it.
team, boys. We got a great team. We got that shag carpet, whatever, BS <laughs> carbon mesh mixed with horse hair crap. That stuff stinks. It smells like death. Dude, if you guys had smell of vision you would turn the video off right now. Yeah, I would turn the video off. Check out the minty ass holes in the hood, though. Mint? Mint? Blowing out the uh, engine bay right now with some cobalt air. Hurricane forces. Oh, yeah. Starting to get a little cleaner in here, boys. Hopefully, we'll be able to start this thing up tonight. What you think? I think it'll run. Oh yeah, I think so. It crank. might be running off uh, starter fluid, but and, it'll run. And half and ha half water. Yeah. <laughs> it'll run. Halfway water. We didn't even know the valve covers were Ford blue, but that's pretty cool that they are. It's awesome. I guess all of them came like that, but I guess we just didn't couldn't see it before. That, Did, we're gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes and then fresh wash it all out. Should oh, yeah. come clean, I think. I think so too. All this purple power, letting it sit for 10 minutes, and then gonna yeah, pressure wash like it all. Plus this. Already went through five almost gallons. Five. You probably have two gallons left of purple power. Wow. Almost five gallons on this truck. That's Definitely crazy. Needed it, though. It needed oh it. yeah. It's only 25 bucks for five gallons of purple power. Not bad. That ain't bad at all. It's worth it, especially when you're using a pump sprayer and oh, yeah. dealing with a whole truck that needs it. But here's how she's looking right now, boys. Really I think cool. I'm gonna call the truck either Big Tony or Dumpy. I, th I like Dumpy. Dumpy's pretty sweet. Hey, what about shit box? It's a, it is a shit box, so it wouldn't be that funny that it <laughs> we call it. You gotta call it Shorty. Yeah, Shorty? That's shorter than Mater. Almost. Dude, it's so cool, short man. Dumpy. Little short Dumpy bed. Hey, look at mine compared short, to A short bed dump truck. That's freaking awesome. Yours is That's like a school bus. Hell, and then his is short. <laughs> Yours is the definition of a school bus. Shorty. <laughs> oh yeah, long and shorty. A short, a short bed dump truck. That's got to be one of the coolest things ever. I think y'all skipped the roof on the washing part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get that roof up there, well, man. That tarp was in the way, so we need to worry about that. Yeah, but we'll get it. We're gonna get back into it, boys. Hopefully, we can get it started tonight. But that will probably be in the next video. But we're gonna finish cleaning this thing out and show you what it ends up looking like, especially the interior. Just check out all the mildew on the windows. We're about to pressure wash that out. We haven't even pressure washed this side yet, but we're going to get it, boys. We're going to get it. All right, guys. It's been a long day. The disaster detail is finally, finally done. So we'll get a 360 of the truck, but first I'll show you the engine bay. We're already starting to work on getting the engine started, so you guys can see we went ahead and replaced some of the plug wires already. But let's get a 360. Check out the seat, by the way. The seat cleaned up pretty good. Pretty happy how the seat cleaned up. The toolbox, got it sprayed out a little bit, cleaned off the sides. We got warning triangles all over the place. We found a golf club in there, which is pretty cool. This dumpster was empty when we started, and just check that out, all the crap that we found inside this thing. We let Purple Power sit for a while and then spray the interior out. Of course, took the seats off, took the carpet out, sprayed it all. Man, this thing was a disaster, and it still is. We still have to come through here. And clean a little bit more but this is how it's looking right now guys the bed of it you can finally see the color there's so much mud on them tires you couldn't even see those the back's pretty much cleaned out now all that trash is taken out of there see this side again there was so much dirt and mud in them wheels it's all cleaned out now bed looks a lot brighter it's like a whole new truck <laughs> just kidding guys but it does look a lot better. Here's this side. The grill. The grill before we started. I'll put a picture before we started, boys. And the grill was like completely black. They said they thought the truck bumper and grill was black. But it wasn't. You couldn't even see the Ford blue on the or Ford blue on the valve covers either. So that looks pretty sweet now. This mirror actually cleaned up pretty good. Mirror is actually pretty clear. It's pretty cool. The hood is being replaced, so that thing's just rusted. That thing's goner. Hood's being replaced, the battery tray cover, and the cross member that goes between the frame is being replaced as well. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Huge shout out to Dippin' Diesel and Mike for giving me a hand. We're over here making another video right now, so you guys need to stay tuned for that. Smash the like button down below if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Tons more things coming for this truck, very exciting things, and Mater and the shop we're building in the back. So lots of things happening on our channel. Great time to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.